It was a Friday morning, just like any other Friday in Jerusalem. Early in the morning, my friends and I were going to the market to buy food for our mothers. We were having great fun, laughing and joking, talking about school and about teacher. Friday is usually busy, but this Friday seemed different. There were so many more people than usual around, and all the adults were huddled in groups, whispering and talking and arguing. We got close to one of the groups of men to find out what all the fuss was about. We heard them say that there had been an arrest in the town the night before, and that the trial was be held that day. We wondered who had been arrested and crept closer to listen. We were so sad to hear that it was Jesus, the new teacher from Nazareth, who was arrested. How could they have arrested him? All the children in our town loved Jesus so much because he was so kind to us. He was the kindest and gentlest person we had ever met. He told us lovely stories. He always had time for us. Time to listen to our news and to our stories. But we also knew that many people in Jerusalem hated Jesus because they saw that Jesus showed love to everyone. They had heard that he made pe sad people happy, made sick people well, made bad people good, and even made dead people alive again. They were afraid that if Jesus became powerful, they would lose their power and their big jobs. We discovered that some people in our town planned to get rid of Jesus. He was now under arrest, and they were going to make up bad stories about him to tell Pilate, the Roman governor. We were so upset. Some of us started to cry, but we decided we would go to Pilate's palace to see if we could do anything for Jesus. First Station. Jesus is condemned to die. There is Jesus now, standing quietly and calmly before Pilate. He is bruised and bleeding from his beatings. They have made a crown of thorns and put it on his head. Pilate wants to please the people, so he believes their false stories about Jesus. He orders Jesus to be crucified. Oh, poor Jesus, how can they do this to you? You who are so gentle and kind to us all. But how can you be so calm and quiet when they spread untrue rumors about you? Why do you not shout, No, I am innocent. Stop hurting me. Dear Jesus, please help me to never make fun of anyone or to call people names. Make me kind and loving to all. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Second station, Jesus takes up his cross. Now the soldiers make Jesus carry a big, heavy cross through the streets. The cross looks so big and heavy, and Jesus looks so tired and weak. Each one of us has our own cross to carry. We have our problems, big and small. Dear Jesus, help me to carry my cross. Help me to study hard in school, do my homework well, and be helpful and good to my parents and teachers. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Third station, Jesus falls for the first time. Oh no, the cross is too heavy for Jesus. He has fallen to the ground. But look, he is dragging himself to his feet again and is on his way. Dear Jesus, help me to be patient with everyone. When my own cross gets heavy, help me not to give up easily, but to struggle on. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Jesus, remember Fourth station, Jesus meets his mother. Now Mary, Jesus' mother, pushes herself to the front of the crowd and meets her son, Jesus. How can she cope, knowing that her son is in such pain and will soon have a terrible death? Oh Jesus, help us always to be a comfort to our own mothers, as you have comforted your mother on that Friday. They love us so much, and their thoughts and prayers are always for their children. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Fifth station.
station. Simon helps Jesus. The soldiers notice that Jesus is too exhausted to go on, so they force a man called Simon to help Jesus carry his cross. Oh Jesus, help me to always be willing to help others in need. I do not want to be selfish. Help me to show love and compassion to everyone. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Sixth station, Veronica wipes the face of Jesus. Look! I see our neighbor Veronica wiping the face of Jesus with a cloth, his kind, loving face covered in blood and sweat. Where did she get the courage to rush past the soldiers and act in such a kind manner? The soldiers are very angry with Veronica, but Jesus smiles and thanks her. The image of his face stays on the cloth as a reminder of all that Jesus suffered that day. Dear Jesus, help me to be kind like Veronica. Teach me how to show love and kindness to others always. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Seventh station, Jesus falls for a second time. Jesus is so tired that he falls again under the weight of the heavy cross. He is bruised and bleeding, and the soldiers whip him to hurry along. Dear Jesus, help me to be strong and determined when nothing seems to be going right for me. When I'm not doing well in school, help me to keep on trying and do my best to improve. Please don't let me give up. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Eighth station, Jesus speaks to the woman of Jerusalem. I see my mother and some of the other women crying and feeling sorry for Jesus. They love him very much. As he passes them, Jesus speaks to them, even though he is very tired and weak. He asks them not to cry for him, and they seem comforted by his words. Dear Jesus, help me to be a comfort to others when they are suffering. Teach me not to think of my own troubles, but to reach out and help my family and friends. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Ninth station, Jesus falls a third time. By now, Jesus is absolutely exhausted. He has come to the hill where he will be crucified, and as he carries the cross up the hill, he falls a third time. I'm sure he feels he can't go on anymore. Dear Jesus, give me the courage and strength to go on when I'm not doing well in school or at home. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. station, Jesus' clothes are taken away. The soldiers are now roughly tearing away Jesus' clothes from his battered, blood-stained body. He looks so weak and frail. Poor Jesus, they have taken away your clothes, but they have not taken away your great love for us. You have shown love to us when we abandoned you. Help us never to abandon you again, but to love you always. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Eleventh 
station, Jesus is nailed to the cross. Oh, the agony Jesus is in as the soldiers nail his hands and feet to the big, heavy cross. I cannot bear to look at the pain on Jesus' face, but still, he asks his Father in heaven to forgive the soldiers. Is there no end to this man's compassion and love and forgiveness? Dear Jesus, help me to love and forgive my family and friends even when they hurt me. Teach me not to bear grudges and to have enemies, but to forgive and forget. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Twelfth station, Jesus dies on the cross. After three long hours on the cross, poor Jesus dies. Darkness settles over the land, even though it is only three o'clock in the afternoon. The earth trembles, and we are all afraid. I am so sad to see Jesus dead on the cross. Dear Jesus, I know you have died on the cross today to show me how much you love me. There's no end to your love. You died to save me. I do not deserve all this love, and yet I know that you will always love me. Just one verse Thirteenth station, Jesus is taken down from the cross. The body of Jesus is taken down from the cross. His heartbroken mother Mary holds him in her arms and cries. It is so sad to watch her holding the limb body of her son. Dear Jesus, help me to be a comfort to others when they are sad. Help me to console my mother and my friends when they are upset. Jesus, remember me. When you come into your kingdom, Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Fourteenth station, Jesus is laid in a tomb. A kind neighbor called Joseph offers a tomb to Mary for the body of Jesus. With great love, Vincennes, his body is wrapped in a clean sheet and laid in the tomb. His tomb is in a small garden. A big stone blocks the opening of the tomb. A soldier is ordered to stand guard over the tomb in case somebody steals the body of Jesus. We know that this was not the end of Jesus' story, but the beginning. We know that Easter is coming. We know that Jesus will break the bonds of death and he will rise again. He will win for each and every one of us the gift of eternal life. We simply have to say yes to him. It is Good Friday, but we know that Easter is coming.